so this is the ring ring light. Oh dear, I can't quite remember his name. Good news and bad news. The good news is he's harmless. The bad news is he is venomous. But why won't you focus? There you go, look at him. Look how cute he is. The um the reason they are harmless is because their fangs are not located here, like in most snakes. They're actually located here. So once he latches onto like a salamander or a newt or even earthworms and crickets, depending on what's available, they um constrict kind of like what he's doing to my family. He's not doing it so much, but they they constrict and use the venom in their back of their mouth to stop the prey from killing them. Look how cute he is. Oh, and he, he doesn't even mind me petting. He likes that chin rub. Yes, he does. He knows he does. Yeah. Mm hmm. Perfectly wild. Straight off of the. Straight off of the ground. He came crawling on by me. They, um. They don't get more than a couple of inches. This is just an um, adolescent. He's not fully grown, but. He's not the smallest. They start at about four inches. They get up to, I think they said, about a foot. I just found out about this thing. I'd never seen one before. I, um, any snake I see with a rounded head is usually safe to play with. Uh, it's when they've got the diamond head that, that you don't want to play with. See how he does not have quite the diamond head. It's almost the same shape as his body. Usually those are the ones that are safe to play with. Isn't that right, buddy? Focus. Oh, focused over there. How did I get it to focus so well a second? Yeah, but look how cute they are. They got this awesome color. You see that on its tail? When they get threatened, they raise their tail so that something sees that bright red and feels threatened and scared and runs away. They got this awesome, glossy, glossy skin. Um, judging by its vent, I would have to say it's a female. She's like, stop looking down there. Leave me alone. Leave my privates alone, buddy. The male has a certain shape to it. They don't show it, but they describe it. That doesn't quite like the female. I mean like the male. My bad, my bad. It looks more like the female's shape from what they were describing. Look how cute they are though. And they're really friendly. He's not so happy when I move my fingers around a little bit. He just kind of wants to explore a little. But then he comes back, curls around me, curls around me. Look at it. Like I said, he's kind of constricted. I think because they're nocturnal, they find hot objects from throughout the day and rest against it for a minute to absorb its heat. And that's why they're black, to better absorb the heat from the object. And right now, I am the warmest object he could find. So he's kind of uh, just enjoying the warmth that he can get. They, um, they're very helpful, apparently, because they do eat a lot of insects. They help keep the numbers down on things. Um, like, I mean, lizards and frogs and things like that are great for your yard. But also, to keep the ecosystem going, you need the thing called the circle of life. And these are just a part of it. They help keep those numbers down, because something without a predator just becomes overwhelming in numbers because they breed and breed and breed. Kind of like the human, just say. Just say. But yeah, that's these little guy. Look how friendly. He's just kind of finding the warm spots and enjoying it for a minute. And then he kind of moves a little more. Trying to just I think absorb all the warmth you can. 
I'm sorry, little buddy, I didn't mean to drop you. They also, even though it doesn't say online, they have a musk, kind of just like the, uh, the garter snake and things like that. I, um, I'm guessing because it's one of their defensive mechanisms to keep things away. If it smells dead or musky, something's not going to want to eat it. He, he's wrapped around my volume cord. Great. Thanks, little buddy. He keeps doing this to me. Hold on, I don't know if you've seen it. Where he actually, like, almost tries to get his mouth on me. I don't know if he's, like, one of those, the rare, like, slightly aggressive one, or he thinks maybe I am food or something. I have no idea what to think about that. He doesn't do it very often. But randomly, he'll, like, open his mouth and then try to rub it on me. Almost like he's trying to get that back fang into my my skin, which is really awkward in its own way, but, you know, it comes with the territory. Oh, there it goes. Ah! Every time. It's like he's no, he knows he's on camera. He's like, I'm not going to show off that awesome skill. You going to do it again? You going to do it again? No? How about a chin rub? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, I'm trying to do that, Andrews, and it's not as easy. Because I'm using the camera to aim. There you go. How about that chin rub? Yeah. Yeah, look at him. He loves it. But see? See? See what I mean? He's like, is he trying to... Is he trying to... To, to bite me? <laughs> That's funny. Your fangs aren't big enough, little guy. They're too deep in your mouth. But that's why they say they're harmless. Because, yes, they do have venom. And they know they've got venom. But they can't do anything. I would have to be fully lodged in his mouth for him to be able to venomate me. Envenomate. En envenomate, yes, was the word that they used on the computer. Got this beautiful coloring. Especially when you get down to that. Where's tails? Similar, like, like, very close to where the vent is. Is where it starts turning red. And that's how you can tell. See, like it gradually starts turning more and more red, and then it gets really red, and that black. Let's see if I can focus it. That black line is the vent. That's where um, his poop comes out. That's the vent. Um, that's also where um, the genitalia are. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's how they breed. That's how they use the restroom. Um, snakes are reptiles, and reptiles like birds do not pee. It all comes out in a, a solid form. The urate and also the... Uh, oh, I can't remember what the, the solid... The, the other part of the solid mass is. But pretty much they turn most of their fluids into the urate, uh, which is a mixture of calcium and a couple other things, and it becomes solid. And then it, uh, the rest of the mass becomes a, a, a darker chunk on the, the tip of a white piece. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And see, he's still doing that, that weird, almost like he wants to bite me thing. Why does it keep focusing over there? Let's see what this does. There you go. See? I have no idea what he's trying to do. There. No idea. But I haven't been able to post a video in a couple of days. Uh, you, you, you're tangling up my wire. And you're tangling up yourself. Look at this now. He's all tangled up. Let's see. Can I edge him along? Play with him? No, he, he doesn't even care. He's just like, cool. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Most of the time when a snake would get touched, it would cause them to want to move. Um, this little guy does not seem to even mind. I'm just trying to push him along, get his tail and wrap around, because then I could easily pull that out from under. Oh, he's fully wrapped around it now. He's like, ha ha, you can't get away. You can't get away. Don't my ear cord, because that's plugged in, and I do not know if your fangs would puncture and shock you, dude. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Look at that, though. 
I'm just giving him some worth while I'm sitting out here. Um, charging up my device and um, also my battery pack. That way I don't have to come out here again in a couple of days. Also, um, the hurricane's getting closer. So I, if I do get rained out, I want to be able to have sh uh, have a bit of electricity. So if something happens, I can text for help or call for help. Um, I do have my location set up on a GPS, so I could send it to like my aunt, and she sends that to the hell, uh, which is helpful. Um, yeah, look at him there; he's still all wrapped around. It. He's not as bad. There we go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Took me a minute to get that free. That's just the thing for my pipe that I use for my tobacco as a way of cleaning it. I just have it sitting there. Um, that way, like, if a cop or somebody comes through, and, you know, do you have a weapon? I can be like, I, I have this for an intel reasoning, which I just stated. Cleaning my pipe out. Um, I just really wanted to show off this little guy because he's so cute. This is one of the only venom venomous snakes I've ever been able to handle and felt comfortable with handling because venomous snakes, if they get scared, one of their instincts is to bite and run because um, that's just how they survive. Oh, come here, buddy. Where do you think you're going? I'm not done with you. You're too cute to let go just yet. Yeah, but look how tiny they are. I mean, I do have huge hands. Um... But still, this little guy is small. Look at him. He's, he's a small portion of my hand. There's that beautiful underbelly I was talking about. Where did, oh, he won't stop flipping around. There it is. See, it's got that awesome, just orangish yellow color. And then it becomes that bright, vibrant red. And they use that red to scare off their predators. Isn't that right, yo, buddy? And this is pretty much what he does the whole time he's hanging out with me. Uh, this is the first time I've seen one of these. They're really, really cool. Apparently, they're fairly common, but they're nocturnal. Unlike every other, like, snake and things like that. These are the, the nocturnal. Um, and I think that's why they are black. Because, like I was mentioning earlier, uh, from what I read on Wikipedia, they, um, they get their heat from absorbing it through objects. I'm trying to get it to focus on my game that way. Bring him into focus too. It keeps on focusing on the concrete in the back. See, and they're so docile. I can even sit here and tap him and things. He's not trying to crawl away. Sit there and pet him a little bit. Hmm. Pet him a little bit. This hand does not smell like him, so he's probably a little less comfortable. He has his musk all over my other hand which I'm now holding my phone with. He, we, we, we transmit hands. So he's probably not as comfortable as he was a little bit ago where he, my other hand smells all like him. Which is why he's probably a little more restless right now. But like with touching him, see how he's, he's trying to crawl away right now. It's probably because this hand does not smell like him at all. I haven't touched him with this hand. he's kind of uncomfortable. And then they turn up their tail. And you see how vibrant that is. That would be scary to some things. And so they use that as one of the defensive mechanisms.
Hello? Hi there. Yeah, you said you're cute. Yeah, you shouldn't be afraid of these guys. Look at them. Like I said, I'm not even afraid of venomous snakes. I just won't handle them like I do non-venomous ones. I The reason I collected this one up and played with him the most was because I never really seen I mean it's it's laid out there. Oh I got a zoom? Cool. Sorry, testing out my uh my camera on this thing. I haven't actually played with it too often. Um They are constrictors, so they prefer to constrict objects, but they've also got venom, which is actually really interesting. Most constrictors don't have venom. See, he's more comfortable now. You gotta show them that you're not gonna hurt them. And most of the time, they understand. Especially after you've handled them for a few minutes, and they see that you're really big and you haven't eaten them yet. Amazing. I was very shocked when I read that they are venomous. And I was just glad that it turned out that their fangs are in the back of their mouth and not at the front because I handled him before I looked him up. Which could have turned out very, very badly. It could have turned out very badly. But yeah. That is the, uh, the ring neck snake. Very friendly little guys. Extremely docile. Extremely docile. Beautiful patterns. Cute little faces. Some weird habits. And where he's continuously opening his mouth and rubbing it on. I mean, that actually may be where his musk is, to be honest. I have no idea. Probably not, but... I have no idea why he's doing it. I've never really seen a snake do that before. He's such a cutie, bro. Makes me miss my little guy, Bond. But yeah, I've burned up about... 19 minutes of your life. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're bloody afraid of snakes, I uh, I hope this helped you a little bit in understanding that they are so friendly. 99.9% .9 of them are extremely friendly. Even the venomous ones, but when they get scared, they will definitely, definitely strike. Because if they're scared, they need to be able to find a way to survive, and that's how they survive. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Help me, um, help me help you. I'm trying to sit here and show that nature is not... Why did you... It focused over there. That nature is not so bad as people think. I mean, look at this little guy. He's just trying to absorb some warmth right now. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a great day or night. Uh, I um, will be uploading a video soon. I just need to um, to work on it a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day. Bye bye.